Hey guys, welcome back to another customization tutorial. My name is Roberto George and I'll be guiding you through this customization process, which will be very simple and easy to do, but I will guide you um, nonetheless to change the photos or videos and to, to see how the project is organized and change all the assets. Right now everything is empty just with some uh, placeholders as you can see here and we are going to change that so it looks uh, a bit nicer so let's move on so first of all the folder that will most matter is the placeholders we will have two one optional and one photos and videos which is the most important uh, let's cover first the photos and videos so once we open it up we will have the frames and we'll have the comps and pics. Pics and videos are empty at the moment. Let's bring in, I don't know, a couple or just a few footages, one of them being a picture. Uh, once we do that, we can open the comps folder and let's go to our photo one. Let's open it up and you will see a placeholder here, which we can disable it and just bring our photo even if you leave, if you leave it enabled um, it will not show but as um, you can disable it or you can just control um, holding shift you can delete both and just leave the picture or the video in this case a picture so let's press s for scale and let's put it on frame and let's see how it looks on on the animation Okay, so looking nice, I would probably want to bring in the photo a little bit up. In this case, as you can see, this is 920 by 180, so the picture is uh, much, much higher resolution. Okay, so something like this, and we all are in frame. By the way, yeah, this is my family. <laughs> um, Okay, so we have our first picture, and as you can see, um, right now there's a filter, a color correction filter applied, which uh, you can disable directly on the picture itself, or on the photo placeholder, uh, but I will show you another way. If you want to show one in color and then the second in uh, black and white, this will be... Um, the individual option but there is an optional uh, an option sorry that will uh, make all of them black and white or all of them um, in color or you can add your own color correction effect and apply to all of them automatically just by changing one but we will see that in a few seconds another thing that we can change right here is our text uh, and just double click and let's say my family my family what I want to check right now if the text okay so the text is not um, well on the frame and we want to adjust this by moving and I'm gonna select the title background color which is this uh, black solid here which will give some contrast with the font and I'm just gonna drag that the font will follow it you can place it anywhere I'll try to match went too far away a little bit more and just a little bit I'm gonna use my arrow key and there we go so now I have um, the words as I want and of course I can decrease or increase the background color and to do so bear in mind that the text is parented with the background color so first I will select none on the text and then I will decrease the size of the background and I can parent it back so I can move around just the, the solid and the text will follow okay so looking good and this will work for any of the placeholders, so no point in repeating this for all <laughs> of the placeholders. Uh, first one is done. We have our 
first picture that could be a video as well or you can instead of just having one picture you can um, inside your photo just bring one picture and then making placing another one and placing another one and have three or four pictures to uh, show it off but that that's an option so um, let's close this up and let's go to our video 2 which at the moment is not here so let's open composition photo 2 and let's bring one of the videos okay let's see how it looks I probably want to push the video a bit forward just to capture some more of the action. So as the photos are falling, the sliding, bam, all happy. <laughs> goes and we go to another frame I would probably adjust it just a little bit more so I can keep him on frame during the whole animation okay as you can see I'm seeing the placeholder right now so if I leave my timeline needle here I know that I'm going to start the video or the clip right over there. Okay, here it comes and bam. Uh, that's okay. Okay, so regarding the text, I um, can remove these and the sound as well. I don't want the sound. Uh, if you want, by some reason, using the use the sound uh, of any particular clip, you will have to leave this on, and you will have to turn on for, uh, in this case, scene two. So it will, by default, you will have no sound at all. Even if you this leave this one on, you will have no sound at all on your main composition. So you can render uh, just with the soundtrack, um, soundtrack, sorry, and it will be good to go. So in here the, the same, you could just change the, the text and rearrange it the way you want. And this will work for all the uh, placeholders. So regarding photos and, and videos, uh, no point in being here repeating this process. It will be all the same. Let's close this up and this. And let's go to some optional, um, uh, some optional things that, well, the fonts are not so optional, but that's the way I called the all these secondary assets. So first of all, the background. Uh, we have a background texture, which is a, in my opinion, really nice. Let's close this. Really nice texture, as you can see here. And there's the link in the description and also in the folder, so you can uh, download this or similar to this with a different look. Uh, all you have to do is just bring your own texture, and in this case, I'm going to just to create a solid so you can see that you can if you bring uh, your own texture and apply it here you will have a different look through all the design and of course this is just a, a solid but uh, so you, you can have an idea let's delete it reverse back to our standard look and then we have the titles so these titles are and let's change for the first one background titles um, and you can change they are rear they are arranged in this way but you can rearrange in any way that you that you want uh, so let's say instead of intent let's say tutorial oops tutorial and probably here I would want to decrease a little bit of the font and positioning somewhere around here. So instead of intense, now I have tutorial. 
it's just to give a glimpse uh, we don't really want to focus on this world it's just to give more style and uh, to give a difference an original idea so uh, as you can see um, uh, another example what I'm doing is just double clicking on the text and, and as you can see when I select or not selected but over on top it will give me the uh, showing me on the screen which one I'm touching so another example and if we sh see the footage now yeah there we go another example and you can keep changing to whatever to whatever whatever that doesn't seem right but probably like this whatever way whatever <laughs> whatever okay I'm not gonna lose time if it's mis misspelled sorry about that um, it really looks like something wrong here but well just let's check and hi here we go we have to whatever um, directed by what is directed by here oh, instead of Roberto George let's say yourself so as you can see instantaneously you will have your text um, and let's say that you don't want that word uh, whatever the yourself that you want it a little bit more on the top so there you go uh, you just have to change and it will be ready to roll and for this you will have all the uh, background titles and this one is out of the place just because I've got a R there uh, you will have a background title for each of the scenes so eight scenes eight background titles uh, you can opt uh, that's an option but let's say you want the same words on all scenes uh, which is possible uh, by some reason is possible uh, all you would have to do is and let's say that you want so we're gonna change just the second one um, let's open up scene 2 and where it says background titles 2 you drag background titles 0 1 holding alt drop it on top and there we go so this means that now we have the same background on these two and you can do the same for all the others um, I'm gonna reverse that but uh, okay that's an option so regarding the background this is it uh, let's close it up color filter this was the option that I was talking about regarding the original colors of the photo if you want to display it so if you press color filter and disable this adjustment layer and go back to your project you will now have your original colors on all of the placeholders so all of them will become with um, with the original colors um, if you want to adjust it um, individually you know um, where to go on the photo placeholder as we've seen before um, let's close this so color filter and then the scenes and the titles background color uh, titles background color will only work if you have the photo on um, and you can see here you can open it up and if I change this to layer solid settings and let's change to something crazy red okay ah uh, yeah it will it will work sorry about that <laughs> I will explain why it works uh, when I did uh, when I was working on a project yeah this was one of the options that I would want to allow and the color filter is actually just on top of the video or just on top of the photo so it will have no interaction with the color field yeah, I forgot about that <laughs> so <laughs> my mistake I did so many changes on the project that uh, I wasn't reminding so you can give a different uh, kind of look to uh, 
to the scene itself to to the to the theme i really like the, the white and black and, and so i'm gonna undo that and leave it like this uh but that's an option here and once you let me just go back that and let's just go <laughs> solid settings and then red so once you do that you will have for all your placeholders the the red okay so let's close it and regarding the scenes okay so let's close this yeah we can leave it as red <laughs> no problem uh, regarding the scenes, let's open one of the scenes and once you open it up you will see that um, there are two camera movements to give a little bit more uh, attention to the placeholder and you might want to change that and to do so open or click the shy, by, uh, shy button and you will have some adjustment layers here some lights that you can change the positioning uh, and then you have your cameras uh, attached to the null itself so if I select this null here press U you will see that I've got a smooth camera animation that goes up to the 9 seconds of the composition you can see the keyframe here but it will be cut here so let's say that you just want a movement let's disable this too and once we disable it, uh, as you can see, the project just gets messed up. But what if we select these two and bring them over? What you will have now is just one smooth camera animation. I would probably want to, let's zoom in, I would probably want to keep this more in frame so this way I would have this movement here okay but as you can see uh, you have many options available this this is one of them uh, of course you could go crazy and get a I don't know different completely different angle here push this So you would start like this and then move it around. And now if you turn these two, you will have a different, different movement. So regarding cameras, just go crazy and, and do whatever <laughs> feels uh, more pleasant to you or leave them as they are. Uh, in my opinion, they, are, they look really good like this. And they are, if you use the, the soundtrack that um, it's linked and that I used on a preview, it will look really nice. It's timed with the... With the soundtrack so uh, what else options we have here yeah you can positioning your frame uh, let's say that your titles uh, sorry not the titles the frame is not exactly where you want after you make the changes so you can position the the frame and bear in mind there are no keyframes whatsoever here i'm going to press u and you will see no keyframes here so you will change nothing on the project except the position that it is uh, laying around so no problems here the same happens with the background titles uh, it's pre-composed I'm gonna press you there's no uh, so you can just bring it to the position that you prefer depending on the text you edit the text and then you have to go back and you say hey it's easier this way let's repositioning and I'm gonna have the look that I want okay so this is also uh, an option the same with the lights and whatsoever so you can just close it up and everything is tight and neat and organized and that is it so regarding the scenes we are done titles yeah so guys I hope I could help with this small video tutorial well small already 20 minutes <laughs> as usual <laughs> um, I hope you have fun with this and that you can show off your best footages and your best pictures especially um, 
your family. Well, at least I used mine for as this example, and I really loved it. My wife loved it. This kid over here loves to see his <laughs> his pictures and and footages on on projects that I do. Uh, this one here doesn't know. <laughs> he smiles, but he doesn't know nothing yet. He will. Uh, so, guys, sorry about that. Um, I was bumbling around. I hope you enjoy working with the project. If you have any questions, any doubts, if you find any bug or any problem, drop me a line. I will do as best as I can and as fast as I can as usual to help you out. Uh, I don't know, any idea that you have and you can't uh, do it uh, or any other question, just say, hey, Robert, uh, you know where to find me. And uh, I need some help. I need this or that. And I will do as best as I can. So enjoy your rest of the day and enjoy the template. Hope you have success with it. And bye-bye. My name is Roberto George.